Welcome back to Candy's Art World. I'm Candy and today I'm going to do draw a shored boat. Um, I use color pencils and I tried to use um, liquid masking fluid to keep the white spots white. Um, but I learned something um, and I want to share it with you so that way you don't make the same mistake I do. Um, the liquid masking fluid kind of gets eaten up by the odorless mineral spirits. So if you are going to use color pencils on a piece and you're using liquid masking fluid don't use odorless mineral spirits or don't use the masking fluid one or the other they do not jive well together um, ended up taking me a really long time to get the goopy goop off of my art piece um, I went several layers not realizing what was going on too maybe had I caught on to what was going on earlier it might not might not have been such a mess um, but I completely finished the water before I realized that the um, odorless mineral spirits did a number on the on the uh, liquid masking fluid so you learn something and you share what you learn so that way somebody else don't make the same mistake um, yeah it was a little bit of a hot mess I actually didn't even realize what was going on at first when I used my rubber cement eraser and it seemed like seemed like I was lifting a color pencil or paint off of it and it's not even paint it's color pencil but um, I of course let it dry before I picked, tried to pick up the uh, masking fluid, but my whole rubber cement eraser ended up gooped up with blue stuff from from the uh, mineral spirits eating away at the at the masking fluid. I mean the piece still turns out all right, but uh, it was a hot mess to deal with. And my uh, rubber cement erasers still have the blue all over them from from this one project. I ended up having to use the the eraser and my fingernails and everything to try to get it up. Oh, I even used the side of a of a ruler and yeah it was a mess But I didn't want to give up on this art, you know, this piece just because of that. I, it's like, well, let's just keep going, see if I can make it work without using the um, masking fluid.
So for future knowledge, use the um, masking fluid. You can use it for the ink tints, and you can use it for your watercolor. Um, anything that's water soluble. Don't use it for anything that's anything stronger than that because you're probably going to end up with a mess on your hands. But it still did leave me highlights in the water and stuff and where the grasses were. So it still held in there pretty, pretty well considering how much odorless mineral spirits I had used and all that. Um, I did use my Prismacolor color pencils for this. I just love how when you use odorless mineral spirits, it just wakes up whatever color you have on the paper. It brings it to life. I tried to use a little bit of tape on my little stencil thing to try to lift, <clears throat> try to lift some of the color pencil back to add col um, some little flowers in the field of grass. Um, it did lift a little bit, but not a whole lot, probably because I had already used odorless mineral spirits. So it probably set the the pigment into the paper too much.
And the good thing about odorless mineral spirits is you can layer more color on it. Um, it doesn't, you don't end up brandishing or burnishing your paper, so you can add more layers until you get what you want. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Have a great day.